chest. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. Oh, my goodness, he's making me to lie down. Oh, my goodness, in green pastures. Wait, let me go back. Let me let me skip forward. Because he said he you prepare for me a place in the midst of my enemies because I'm eating good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean I'm yeah. eating good yeah. in the midst of my, in, in the midst this. of the people yeah. that I used to covet? Yeah. In the midst of the people that used Thank to come down on me? Yeah. In the midst of the people yeah. that used to hate yeah. me? Yeah. That yeah. still do hate me. Yeah. But I'm eating good. Yeah. And then, and then it don't even stop right there. No. It don't stop right there because he says, surely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We thank you, Jesus, for your for your excellence. We thank you, Jesus, for your patience. We thank you, Jesus, for your love, giving kindness. Oh, how great is thou name. We praise you on this morning, Heavenly Father. We honor you, Jesus. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, to rest, rule, and abide with each and every one under the sound of my voice. We need you. Please speak through these lips of clay. Let our hearts and our minds and our spirits be receptive to what your Holy Spirit has already defined and called holy through your word. Let us accept it, let us receive it, let us apply it in life. Speak to us, Father, in the name of Jesus. We honor you in anticipation, expecting to hear a word from you. Please bless us in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father God. You all may be seated. I was studying uh, a couple of nights ago, and the Lord took me to Jeremiah, the first chapter, first verse. And I think I'm telling I had a whole sermon already prepared. And, and, and so happened, you know, I go to the Bible, pull the Bible app, I'm doing my study, and all of everybody's scriptures, you know, has been, those that you all highlight that are, are, are connection to me, I can see everything everybody has highlighted in their scriptures. And lo and behold, on yesterday, I seen Sam, I mean, uh, uh, Saturday, which is yesterday, Friday, yeah, yeah. I seen Sam had first, <laughs> Jeremiah first chapter one. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah, he had those verses highlighted. But uh, because God was show, showing me, like he said, listen, I got caught up, but I'm going to be honest with you. I got caught up. Thank you, Jesus. I was trying to figure out, um, if if no one blesses uh, uh, blesses um, my ministry or validates my ministry wow. that God gave me, uh, am I still qualified? Wow! Come on. If, if no one wants to wants to invite me to their churches and, and have any parts with me, am I still validated? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. <laughs> and, and then Jeremiah said, and "Listen, God said to Jeremiah." He said, before you was even thought of. He said, I already, you were predestined. Wow. I, 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 I watched it. He said, I sanctified you. Yes. Not just sanctified, you know what he said he did? Oh. He said, I ordained you. Because yes. I was looking for, I said, man, do I have to be? Not God I said, I ordained you. Come on now. You know, God, and listen, I did it. You don't, you don't have to worry or, or let anybody tell you who, what, who, or what you are when I done said it already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thank God for His Word. You are qualified children of God. He created you all for a, a divine assignment. You, particularly you, you better let God use you. Don't let nothing stop you from being who God called you to be. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Second Kings. First chapter. First verse. We've been dealing with Elijah uh, for the last week or so, a couple of weeks or whatnot. And uh, God took me right back to Elijah. Elijah right, told me first king about second kings and, and deal with second kings. Deal with this. He showed me something, y'all. I'm about to expound on what God showed me to give to you all. Everything works out. Um, watch this. When you're in the Holy Spirit, first of all, he doesn't make a mistake. I say that connection to this sermon. It, uh, Jada, it's not a coincidence you asked me about the scripture this morning. That's never asked to me. 
on a regular Sunday basis do we continue with the scripture? I got a phone call before, well, as I was getting ready this morning to come to church, and I was, you know, getting ready. And in the conversation, I didn't know where it was going, but it went in line with this. Chelsea, Sister Ward, can you please read the word of God? Verse, keep going, it's all to you. Sorry, verse one, yes. Then Moab rebelled against Israel. Then Moab rebelled against Israel. After the death of Ahab. Uh -huh. And Isaiah fell down through the lap through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria. Okay, how to describe this thing is, is uh, in other words, he fell through like a, a the window is what they, it's just described, that he fell through the window. Okay, go ahead. And was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go, inquire of Beelzebub, mm -hmm. the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. Okay, so we have uh, uh, Isaiah. Uh, watch this. He fell and got sick. In other words, he's in, he injured himself mm -hmm. to the point that's how people end up in the hospitals and things like that. Watch this. Now, this king, he said, go ask uh, Beelzebub. Now, he got his messenger and told his messenger to go relay a message to Beelzebub inquiring of his, his uh, destiny. What, what is going to be my outcome? Am I going to die or am I going to live? Okay. Go ahead. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto them, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel I want you to get this. that ye go to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Ekron? I want you to get this. Now, Jenny, I hope you get why, why this goes together with the, the first verse of Psalms. Because he was asking uh, advice. He wanted to get some information from, from that other than God. As you know, all know that we, as children of God, we don't seek counsel of the what? Amen. Amen? But watch this. Isaiah did so. Isaiah seek, sought uh, wisdom from a small g God. He told his messenger to go and gather information. In the process of him doing that, we see God come in and deal with Elijah. Here's the part that, that happens. I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Those of you all who have had an encounter of God putting something on your heart, and you don't know why God's telling you to pick up the phone and call somebody. You don't know why God is telling you to say something to somebody. You don't have no idea why out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Stop what you're doing and, and get this message across, across. Elijah was chilling. He told Elijah to get up. Get this message to the messenger of uh, the king. You hear that? And, and the message I'm going to give you is this. You are seeking information or validation from a small G God. And, and watch this. The results. Now, here's the part about it. The results that you are inquiring about shall come to pass. Because, yeah, you won't die. The mistake you made was going to, 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 to a small G God when you came to the Father. You all have to get this. All right? Now, watch this. Understand this. I want you to get this. Elijah, just like, uh, remember John the Baptist had to deliver information uh, about the king to, because he's messing with this woman. He, he wasn't supposed to marry this woman. And, and John did not care because he was directed by God to give a message. Understand that as he gave this message, it consists of danger. Understand? Listen, y'all. You, you come up against the king if you want to. Or say something that they don't want you to, or that they don't, uh, watch this, uh, they don't want to hear. They can off they can off you just like that. So understand it, you this is royalty. As we go back to Nebuchadnezzar, as we see how his people, how his his how his uh, uh, a wise man conducted himself, they would give him Nebuchadnezzar what he wanted to hear. Remember, he was dealing with the dream, and they no, he said no, we gonna do it this way this time. Y'all been giving me what I want to hear. I need the truth now, okay? 
So watch this. And I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes, see, that you go to certain people because you want to hear certain things. Y'all know that. Watch this. But when you go to the Lord, God's going to give you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And, and this what? And, and that's what this, this ministry consists of. Whole truth ministries. Yeah. All right? But here's what I which I have to, I want y'all to zero in on this. Look at this Tishbite, Elijah. He was, he was told by God to deliver a word from the Lord. Watch this. Understanding the word from the Lord will put him in harm's way. Can you keep, keep reading, please? But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Listen. Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria. Okay. And say unto them, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel that ye go to inquire of Beelzebub, Beelzebub the god of Ekron? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not come down from that bed yes, on yes. which thou art gone up. That's it, keep going. But shall surely die. Uh -huh. And Elijah departed. And, then, and Elijah did what? Elijah departed. I want y'all to get this because when the when the when watch this, the message from the Lord comes to play. No matter, and I gotta get y'all gotta get this. That's why I always tell the church wife, y'all listen to God. Don't you all make no kind of statement, don't you all make no kind of moves based off of how you feel. Now, now we see somebody else in the same predicament giving a message from the Lord. Jonah. And and Jonah did what? He rebelled. Right? This man of God got up and did what? Exactly what God told him to do. Only because God told him to do it. Elijah wouldn't have made this move on his own. I gotta get that part. A lot of times we feel as though we have the word of God. Let's just go out and say, you gotta wait. Don't you make no moves because you got the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is, is to be used uh, when the word of the Lord is supposed to be used. Come on now. As directed. Do y'all got me? Yeah. Amen? Amen? If God don't say move, don't y'all move. Y'all got this, right? Yeah. Let's keep continue to read. Let me tell you why. Watch this. Keep going. And when the messengers turned back unto him, mm -hmm. he said unto them, why are ye now turned back? And this conversation is with Isaiah right now with this messenger. Okay, because the messenger already came back to Isaiah. Like, man, that was a fast truth. What, where'd you go? Why you, why you turn around so fast? Right? Keep going. And they said unto him. When they say they, I want y'all to get this. Uh, the messenger was not by himself. So when you hear the word they in this uh, uh, scripture, understand he's talking to the messenger and the people that went with the messenger to the, to go to Bezalbub. Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep going. And they said unto him, there came a man up to meet us Listen. and said unto us, go, turn again unto the king that sent you and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sendest to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore, thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you and told you these words? And they answered him, He was a hairy man and girt with the girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, it is Elijah the Tishbite. Aha! Uh -huh. I know who exactly who, who this was. Mm -hmm. This is the Elijah the Tishbite. Oh, Harry God. I know exactly who he is. Right? That's how they describe it, right? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. Now, now, now. Remember, I want you to keep a content. A, a message to the messenger. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. A message to the messenger. God sent a message to the messenger. Right? Watch this. Watch this. So we have the messenger that went back and told uh, the king exactly what Elijah told him to tell him. You got that, right? Elijah said, I mean, uh, 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 the king said, wait a minute. Who told you this? And, and I'm going to tell you right now, at this point, he inter Elijah interrupted, watch this, a commandment from the king. Mm -hmm. See, his messenger didn't even, his messenger didn't accomplish what the king told him to do. He interrupted him. Now, at this point, I would be like, wow, how does he know something like this? I ain't even, how does he know that I even sent this man to, to do this? But, but as, as the word of God goes, I'm going to tell you this. Think when God does stuff, it's not by coincidence. So I want to paint that picture because it, 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 it can seem like, wait a minute, he sent this man and on Elijah's, on Elijah's own mind, 
he just interrupted this guy uh, on his way to deliver a message. But that was not the case. As the word says, God talked to Elijah before the man even made the move. We got that? So it's not by coincidence that Elijah met with the messenger. Okay? So at this point, the king is upset. Right? What does he say next? Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his Here we fifty. Go. Here we go. And he went up to him. And behold, he sat on the top of a hill, and he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king has the king hath said, Come down. I want y'all to pause for just a second. Now, watch this. Elijah, after he delivered the message, he didn't retreat or go anywhere. Elijah was, was watch this, Elijah was back like to chilling. And he was visible, or he was he was at a place where he could be found. You got to get this. Wait. Understand this. Elijah knew what was what about to happen next. Come on now. It, 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 this right here, this conversation right here didn't catch him off guard. And as, as you all study this, watch this. These guys came up and said, what do they, they call Elijah? They call him man of God. Right? Remember, these guys, don't, they don't even believe in God. And so, in other words, how this is described, they were being sarcastic. Come, man of God. Just sitting here, the king want to see you. I got to put things in perspective, right? Yeah. What does it say next? And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, Check him out. If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Why, why are you playing? <laughs> come on. Now, now, now listen. Why, why are you coming? Yeah, come on, man of God. Yeah, 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 he said, yeah. if I be in the man of God. Yeah. Wow. You see, because what, what, what's happening, what's happening right here, they got to keep in mind, yeah. it, uh, it, it, the, the, the king has, uh, 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 didn't want to see Elijah just to pat him on the back. He gonna pay for this yeah. disrespect. Watch this. So they didn't, they didn't come in peace. Uh -uh. Messenger with his 50? 50. One. Oh, it's only one. Elijah. Yo, I got you and your posse with you. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 me no good. Remember how, how Jesus was taken? I want y'all to keep that in mind. Yeah. They, they didn't come alone to get Jesus. Yeah. 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 They had swords and everything. Yeah. Watch this. So they come, they come to get Elijah. Elijah says, hey, you, 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 you got you an army. Which, but your army ain't gonna be able to handle this. It's just something man of God. Fire from heaven came and consumed them. No weapon for come on now. Keep reading. Again, also he sent unto him another captain of fifty. Now, 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 now where these guys at? Where they at? I just sent fifty. Send another fifty. Send another fifty, and tell him to get get the the. The, 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 his his tish bite shelf down here, and, and he gonna have to pay for this. What happens? And he answered and said unto him, "Listen, O man of God, thus hath the king said, Come down quickly." And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. You come the same. You coming at me the same way these other did. And, and what happened? And the fire of God oh came down from heaven God. and consumed him and his fifty. Wow. That's why I'm your Pharaoh, don't it? Yeah. You keep sitting. Look, come on. But keep going. What happens next? And he sent again a captain of the this third. This man 50. would not stop. This he would not stop. Send another fifty. And what happens? And the third captain of his fifty went up. I want y'all to get this. Keep going. And the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let, I gotta take our time here. I, I don't want y'all to skip over this slide. Watch this. Because see, God is showing us something. He is showing us something. Now, 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 now. Now, you, you, you see what happened to the people that came before you. God runs this thing. God runs it. The, 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 the king don't run this. God does. So when you come before God, you better come the right way. 
See, see, just, just because just because you have a title, or, 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 or you have you have whatever it is that, that makes you makes you think that you all that. But when you come up, when you come up against God, you better humble yourself. You ain't nothing in comparison to God. So watch this. So this man, thank you, Father God, for an example. As I come before you, Father. How, how, how did he position himself? Came and fell on his knees before Elijah. We don't, we don't learn from other people's mistakes. Oh, come on, y'all. Let me do things my way. I got to live my life. I got to go through this. I, that's the only way I'm going to learn. If, if we ain't had to learn anything, if we haven't learned, this man said, listen, this man, listen, I, 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 I watched. That's what the children of God should be doing. He watched. And he said, okay, I've seen, I seen the results because people don't look at results and think that uh, we don't look at results. We got, we got to start paying attention, yeah. children of God. Yeah. We don't have to wait for things to happen to start making uh, uh, moves. Uh, when, I, when I say that, we don't have to wait for things to happen. We don't have to put ourselves in positions that God told us not to. In order to, to well, you know, it ain't gonna happen for me because I'm a child of God. Don't, 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 don't tell the Lord your God. You can, we come before His throne. That's what I said. We praise Him, y'all. We praise, we praise Him standing up. We better, we better come with a humble, a, 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 a heart. Amen. So what, what happened? He got on his knees, and what did he say, Joseph? And said unto him. Oh man of God. Oh man of God. I pray thee. Oh man of God. I pray thee. Let my life and the life of these 50 thy servants be precious. I want you to get this. See, watch this. What he did at this moment. As you see in the other, and as with the other, there was a leader over these 50. When that when the one messenger went down, the 50 went down with them. Mm -hmm. Are y'all paying attention to this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the second pe uh, 50 came up, 51, guess what? When the, the spokesman spoke up, the other 50 paid the consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Now here I am. I've, I've seen what happened. And, 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 and oh, oh, watch this. His, it ain't our man of God now. It was oh man of God. What did he say, Chelsea? Read that again, please. Oh, man of God, I pray thee. I pray thee. Let my life and the life of these 50 thy servants. How he's coming to them. Be precious in thy sight. I pray thee. Now, now, I was, I was sent to, to tell you to come to the king. And, and we, we realized that. Um. Uh, the God you serve is, is, the, is the real God. He, he has to be. I'm, I'm on an assignment. I was given the instructions from the king. But I, I, I respect you. And I'm asking you for what? Mercy. Now, now watch. I'm putting, I'm putting it in, in the perspective of this, this, uh, this uh, uh, messenger. But I want to go back to Elisha. Check this out. Elisha was doing what at this time, y'all? was chilling. He was chilling. You know what? Read the next verse. Read it. Behold, there, behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up the two captains of the former fifty. Now, now this, is, this is the third messenger still talking. Keep going. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. Please. Keep going. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah. Now, okay. Here we go. I'm going to tell y'all. The king been telling Elijah to come down to see him. This is his third time. Did Elijah get up and move? I want, I'm asking, did he get up and move? Did, he, did, he, did Elijah get up and move, church? We, we see he didn't move because he sent him messages after messages after, after messenger. What happens next? We have the angel of the Lord. What happens with the angel of the Lord? The angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, go down with him. Be not afraid of him. Come on! And he arose and went down. I want y'all to get this, children of God. Because I see a lot of times, watch this. We don't get don't get it twisted because I told you all, because of who you are. 
If God ain't told you to move, y'all better sit your butt still. As I said before, y'all make moves. You know what he, had to, what he had to deal with? I heard what you said. I heard what you said. But what does God say? And so what God said this, God, when God sent the message go to the, from the angel, uh, to the angel, from him, telling him it's okay. Now you have the okay to go ahead and follow him. And if, you know what? That was the Lord having mercy on the, first of all, on these, uh, on these men. And he was also reassuring uh, Elijah that he's going to be with him. That you don't have to worry. Because remember, I told y'all, the mindset of the king, the king can do what he wants to do. He can hurt him, destroy him, imprison him, whatever he wants to do. But, but Elijah was told by the angel that he was going to be on what? He was going to be all right. Let's keep going. And he said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, For as much as thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Beelzebub, the god of Ekron, Listen. is it not because there is no god in Israel Listen. to inquire of his word? Therefore, thou shalt not come down off that bed on which thou art gone up. Can, 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 I want to stop you for, for just a moment. I want to say this to you all. And, and those viewers and then whoever else is listening, watch this. Understand this. Elijah's message didn't change. He was standing, he was staring at death. As he as he stared at death. This man was dead already. Because God said so. But as he was staring at death, he didn't change his message that God gave him. I'm, I'm telling you all, church, we are living in a time right now where people's messages are changing because of the environment, because of, of, of who they talk to. You can, let me say this. People front a lot. People can act hallelujah, holy ghost feel when it comes to these settings. But when they, come, when they start getting around their folks and their peoples and things like that, conversations change. Where is this guy that you talked about? I don't see him in this conversation. He thought he was on punk. You thought she was on punk me because I'm here in your environment? You think you think I'm gonna change my stance on, on who God is in my life? And you know what? A lot of people do that. But you know what? I see the, the confidence that Elijah had. One, because um who he who he followed. Watch this. Another is who was with him. Now, he followed God. He was not ashamed to be a follower of God. I listened to uh, Sam's testimony earlier and how, and, and Will's testimony earlier, how, watch this, the, the environments change. Do you? Because your environments change. And, 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 and um, you, 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 you see, you know, you know the people that you're dealing with. And, and, and are we trying to keep an image that's pleasing to them? Or are we going to do what God told us to do? And that's what, be ye holy. And then what Jay said, and then what Bria said, be ye holy. See, we have a choice to make, y'all. And I'm telling you this. When, when I see this, when I see this Tish fight, Elijah operates out. Y'all, the next chapter is something else. You know, Elijah was one that was taken up to heaven. You know, you know what that reminds me of? Jesus Christ. I got to step in here. Thank you, Jesus. The confidence that Elijah had because he knew who God was. He knew who God was. Um, the next chapter shows more so the, the closeness that he had with Jesus, uh, with, with God. Watch this. He had he had a he had a Elisha. He got Elijah. And he got Eli Elias. What did I say? Okay? Elisha. Elisha. I said Elisha. Elisha. Elisha, which was his, his protege, Romeo and Moses and, and, uh, and Joshua. But he had, he had went on a journey. The, the first verse that Chelsea started off reading, it says that, that Elijah, before Elijah was taken up in a what? In a whirlwind. Guess who witnessed that? Elisha. He did something that only, only Enoch did. Enoch, it said that he was. <laughs> he was just taking just taken Genesis. Watch this. Elisha. Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind. And, and I, I gotta say, the reason why I pause to say this is because when you when you think about the watch this, uh, 
When you think about the anointing that Elijah had on his life, it was powerful, y'all. And, and it was it was done because he, he obeyed God. He loved God. And, and you know what? What God said that, that got me uh, through Jesus? He told, Jesus told his disciples that the works that you see me do, you will do greater. That, that's encouraging for me. That's encouraging to me because we limitate, and, I, and I'm, I've been guilty of that, limiting uh, who I am in God or the things that I can do. Come on, y'all. Y'all like, yeah. you, you haven't, you haven't felt that way before? Yeah. before? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, when God, when God, God can anoint these hands to heal. God can, God can empower us to speak life. But guess what we have to do? Believe. i got to take y'all there. Jay, I try to stop. But i got to take us there. Okay, watch this. Eli Elijah said to Eli Elisha, you know what? He said, Elijah, I mean, Elisha, what do you want from me? Before I leave this place, what do you want from me? You know what Elisha said? I want a double portion of this spirit. I got to tell Jay, I said, let me ask him for something that he didn't even have. How you gonna ask me for double something I don't have? That only can come from God. But you know what he did? He granted it to him. He said, if you, if you witness, thank you, Father, if you witness me leave, he said, it's yours. But if you don't witness me leave, it's not yours. Sam, you gotta catch this, though. You gotta catch this. This is the, this is the power. Check this out. Blew my mind. Because this, this applies to us. I'm going to show you how this applies to us right now. This dealing with Elijah's boldness. It dealing with Elijah's power. Watch how it deals with us. Elijah, watch this, was taken up by, by a chariot and with horses from, with flames. Watch this. Came from heaven. So that's a sight to see. And it separated him and Elijah from each other. And it took him. The chariot took Elijah. And it says a whirlwind. Now, I, I'm, when I think of a whirlwind, I always think of a twister, a tornado. But watch this. This happened without rain. And so I looked at y'all. Y'all got to Google. Went to YouTube and said, I want to see what a whirlwind looks like. So there, there was there was one in the desert. Oh my gosh! It was just sand, and it was just like this. Just turned like a tornado. And, and it, 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 it's there in this big one moment. Then all of a sudden, it evaporates. So I'm saying, it, 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 Elisha, watch this, sat there. Now, I'm not watching. Elijah, Elisha was not by himself. Elijah, there was other prophets that witnessed. Watch this. The other prophets that witnessed uh, 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 it, it, what Elijah and Elisha experienced. It was, let's look at it from afar. Let me walk y'all back a little bit. Thank you, Father. What happened was, Elijah, watch this, knew that he was going to leave. Eli Elisha knew that he was going to leave also that day. They went from town to town. Yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. They went from town to town as they traveled. Elijah was telling Elisha, I'm not going to leave you. It's okay. I'm not going to leave you. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like, this reminds me of Jesus speaking. What do you tell me? You I will never what? Nor what? what? He's walking with this man. Everywhere they went, people, the prophets, poured Elisha to the side. You know what they said to Elisha? They said, e Elisha, you know that Elijah, your father, is going to leave here today. You know what Eli Elisha, Elisha said? I know. Hold your peace. On to the next town. Yeah. Prophets come to Elijah, 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 Elisha again and say, Elisha, do you not know that your father's leaving? You know what, you know what Elijah, Elijah said? He said, yes, I know. Hold your peace. All the while, Elijah is telling him, I'm not going to leave you. As they travel. And Melanja, he gets his staff. Thank you, Jesus. He takes his staff wow. and he parts the drink on the water. Wow. He's, he, he hit the water and the water stood up on both sides. And you know what they did? They walked right through the Jordan. Him and Elisha. Walked right through. As they're doing this, somebody from afar viewing this. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. 
Once they got over the Jordan, you know what, you know what Elijah said to Elisha? Before I leave. Now you got to get this. He already told him, I'm not going to leave you. At this point, he said, before I leave you, what do you want? Elisha said, just, I just told you, he said, I just want the double stuff. I just want double, double your anointing, double your spirit. Now have to get this. There's witnesses. The world when it comes, take them up. Watch this. Thank you, Father. Elisha went back to the Jordan. Took that staff that, that fell out of Elijah's hand. He grabbed the staff and he hit the water. And when he hit the water, you know what he said? Oh, Lord. One that was with Elijah. Where are you? You know what happens next? The water stood up on both sides. <laughs> Confirmation. I'm with you, boy. I'm with you. Here's what comes next. These guys that was from afar, they've seen what was happening. They've seen what happened. Remember, they're looking. Yeah. They come run down. Elisha. Wow. Elijah just got took it up to heaven. These men went looking for Elijah. Guess what? How many days? Three days. Could they find him? How long was Jesus in the... Y'all catch, catch, catch that Tuesday. Three days. You know what they came back and said to, to Elisha? You were right. He's not there. You know what Elisha said? I told you he wasn't. And the only... No, Y'all got to get this. These were prophets. Well, how does that make sense? What are you saying, Pastor? Let me tell you what I'm saying. These were prophets. Watch this. They seen, matter of fact, they heard, let me rephrase this. They heard that Elijah was going to leave. All up until he left, they seen him leave and go to heaven. Well, they didn't see him go up to heaven, they seen him leave. Here's what, here's, what the, here's, what, here's what they didn't see. They didn't see that he went to heaven. So you know what happened? They didn't believe. You know what happened to Elisha? He believed. So, so when Elijah said, when you're going to witness me, go to heaven, you get this power. If you don't witness me, now, now watch, he know he's going to be there. Thank you, Jesus. He know he was going to be there when it happened, but what he wasn't going to see him going to heaven. You know what, you know what, you know what his witness, uh, where the witness come from? Faith. The reason why Elijah said, no need to look for him is because he knew where he was. Y'all don't, don't catch that. A lot of people operate just like, the, just like, those, just like those prophets did from afar looking down. The reason why they had no power because they don't got no faith. They ain't got no faith because they don't got no, I mean, they don't got no, no, no power because they don't got no faith. They hear stuff and stuff sounds good. They repeat things that other people say to them. But until you know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is real, he will never be real to you. He will never be real to you. The power that he said that you have, you will never have it because you don't believe. That's why miracles are not happening today. It's just a lot of words that people are hearing. But Elijah said, where are you, God? I'm putting my step down, doing exactly what I was taught to do. Where are you? God said, I'm with you. Mm. So from that day on, Elijah said, Elijah told Elisha, Elisha that if you witness me go to heaven, you will do, you, you will have double the power that I have. Mm. Guess what? Read the scriptures. He did doubly. He did doubly what Elijah did. Look at, the, look at the word. He did double what Elijah did. And you know, you know, it wasn't the fact that Elijah gave it to him. It was God that gave it to him. It's the same God that you serve. So when we are put in a situation and God told you to do something, do it. Quit worrying about what everybody else say. You serve a God. Now that's, that's where fear and unfaith come from. The lack of your action reflects your faith. We want to do things on our own. I heard what you said, Elisha, but we, what's going to make us feel better is we do things the way that we know to do things. 
We want to verify that he ain't in the mountains. After you done heard that he's in heaven. We have to know that Jesus is real. That's, all, that's what the problem is with everybody. Does everybody know? Everybody hear about Jesus, and it's, it seems morally correct, correct to believe Jesus is real. But until you know that Jesus is real, he will, he will always just be words on the paper to you. He will always be a genie in a bottle for you. When you feel as though that you want something, you then you call upon him. But when Jesus, when you have a relationship with Jesus, he'll talk to you. Just like he talked to this tish back. Just like he was with Elisha. He is with you. You have to believe. Not just in words. Have faith. Believe that God is with you. And the works that he has set for you to do. Listen. Let me say this to you. Thank you, Father. Uh, let me say this to you. It sounds good. I, I seen, I seen all kind of blessings that took place this week. I praise God. Sam came I mean, his, for his blessing. That was his testimony I thought he was going to bring up. I bring it for him. That, that he, he was able to pay his car off. Wow. Ain't, ain't that a blessing? He said, my car is paid off. I said, I, I, he's, been, he's been striving to do it. I did it at the accomplishment. All glory to God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. That's good. See, see, watch this. The only way you can accomplish anything in life Now, people can pay cars off. That's what money is. But how do you do it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then, and watch this. Who, who gets the glory behind it? Because you yeah. ain't did nothing. That's, that's why I told him. He come out the other day. I, 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 you got to watch this. That's why I say I, I got to watch it. I told, I, we talked about this in Bible study, and it's important that we get this now. Because Elisha, Elisha has to understand Elijah uh -huh. is not his God. Who could he call on when Elijah was gone? Come on now. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm telling So when, when things come, I'm telling you all this. Like I told him, I'm, I'm here on the on, on divine assignment. Whether you all listen to me or not, that's on you all. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving you what God gave me to give to you all. And I'm asking God to, to, to strengthen you. I'm asking God to, to, to anoint you. I'm asking God to do all the things that he, he has for you in life to be successful. I'm yeah. asking God to do that for you all. But you have to believe. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Let's give the Lord some hand praise. I said, let's give the Lord some hand Yeah. Uh, only, only hard hair people do with that. Do that. Yeah. A humble man of God, a humble woman of God will listen. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord guide you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we men of God. Yeah, we women of God. But we answer to God. Amen. Yeah. We don't move until He tells us to move. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Where would I be without you? I, 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 I would be at the bottom. I would, I would, I would be sitting there still looking at, at, the, at the Jordan River, not, not crossing because I, I don't believe that you can get me back across. Where would I be at, Father God, without you? I, I, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for this experience that you walked me through. Oh, Father, that you walked us through. Showing us your power, showing us your anointing, showing us your, what you can do if you were to submit to you. All we have to do is believe. And, and, and Father God, we realize that we are just messengers. We are just messengers, Father God. Giving the world what you told us to give to them, Father God. Let us not, let us not take it upon ourselves to twist stuff up. Add our own comments, add our own words to what you have already had in stone. We will not change your word, Father God. You are true. Yes. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for your knowledge. And we thank you for giving us understanding. But Father God, we at this moment, we say we are nothing without you. We are nothing without you. We, need, we, we look to you to, for everything. Give us the strength and the courage to sit and wait on you. When we feel like we have the answer, we feel like we see something that we want, we want to do things on our own, let us stand still and let you work it out. In the name of Jesus, continue to give us, Father God, what we need, not always what we want, Father God, but what we need to hear from you. We need you, Father God. 
and we thank you. We glorify you in the name of Jesus.